Okay, so four years into retirement, uh, former Supreme Court Justice John Paul Stevens is really wanting to amend the Constitution. What do you think about his suggestions when it comes to gun control and states' rights? Because he's trying to change all of that. Well, let me praise him for a second. Okay. Uh, okay, I mean, we can do the political analysis. The, the guy has got his finger on something. Many Americans feel like our government is tied up in these crazy knots and not able to solve some of our biggest problems, right? Mm -hmm. and, and and the gun issue is one of them. I mean, most Americans think, you know, yeah, you have a right to have a weapon, a gun under the Constitution, but, you know, don't be crazy about it. We don't want people walking down the street with an assault ref rifle. Mm -hmm. And I think the justice is saying, hey, these current situations are not serving us well. Maybe we've got to go back and do something about it. Okay, but that's it. the guns. What about the state's independence? All of it. All of it. The state's independence. Uh, it's, it's, uh, he's playing to something that's real. Is it going to happen? No. But he's making us think. No. Because think about how hard it is to change mm -hmm. the Constitution, right? You've got to ultimately get three quarters of the state legislatures to go along. Good luck on that. <laughs> and he's seen plenty of cases that, that really challenge a lot of this. What about the death penalty? Because he's suggesting that you just abolish just it abolish altogether. It. Yeah. You know, again, I think increasingly Americans, and the polls show this, mm -hmm. have lost faith in the death penalty. They don't think it really helps with crime. It ties you up in these legal knots. And yet our legal system, the courts and the Congress, uh, are just can't really get their hands around it. Mm -hmm. But is it going to happen? No. Probably not. Probably well, not. will this happen? He, he, he may get the public on board when it comes to restricting political campaign spending. That, that might have some support. Well, another example, Betty, because the court is just going in the opposite direction, right? Saying corporations can give more and rich individuals can give more. And yet most Americans don't want our political system to be turned over to the highest bidder. Right. And yet the laws aren't working with us on that. So I think what Justice Stevens is saying is that the current system isn't serving us very well. Maybe we need to change it in some big ways. Mm -hmm. Do now, something radical. Something big. I love it. Listen, he has surprised people his whole career. <laughs> Gerald Ford put him on the court, and now he's talking about this stuff. All right. Got a new book coming out, so it's interesting to see his thoughts on all of this. Ellis, thank you for your insight. We always, appreciate your thoughts hey, on it. Hey, always fun to see. All right. You too.